Good afternoon, this is Raymond with Realtors Resource. Today is Tuesday, April 16, 2017, and I'm here at 365 Southwest Hill Drive in Willamina, and we're going to be conducting a standard sewer inspection. Just going to get my camera position. The uh, horizontal of the sanitary sewer. And so I've reset my foot counter. I'm going to begin the inspection. Checking serviceability of the sanitary sewer between the house and the main. I do have water running from the uh, lab sink, and that's test for any cooling or leaks in the system. Here at 9 feet, we're going to transition over to 4 inch cast iron. That's at 9 feet. I'm going to introduce some more water into the system. Looks like the system's been uh, unused for quite some time, so I'm just going to try and flush some debris out of here. Okay, I'm unable to advance the camera past 65 foot mark. I'm going to go ahead and locate this.
Lisa, you want to grab Mark and come on inside? Right now my camera's out 66 feet. I can't go any further. Because? Because. Ooh. See, it's nice and black right here. Mm -hmm. That's telling me the bottom of the pipe is completely gone. This is why I get the sewer scope. And this is why I can't make it past the 66 foot mark, which, yeah. look out the front here, there's a white paint mark right by my rear wheel there. Mm -hmm. Appears to be just inside the right away, which means it's on property. I'll have to check with the city and see where homeowner responsibility, but typically for these small towns, homeowners are responsible all the way to the main. Yeah, usually. I'm sure it's anyway. Yeah. So, at the very least, that's so far, that's all. Can you just stop right there? Um, my camera stops right there. Material's probably making it past there, but there's no bottom of the pipe. So, as water rushes over that area, it's going to draw that dirt up into the pipe and it's going to cause that pipe to slowly collapse. The reason that uh, I know the bottom of the pipe is gone. Did you put that mark there? I did. Okay. Um, that black brackish water is always an indicator that sewage is escaping into the ground there. And I guarantee when we dig that up there's going to be tons of little segments of grubs. And that's a sure sign of sewage. Is it grubs grub? Grub? No, grubs are worm. They look. Uh -huh. So, um, I can't make it past there. Um, so at this point, what I'm going to recommend at the very minimum is a spot repair with an additional clean out install and then camera the rest of the line. I'm going to recommend that it be done prior to closing because if there are additional issues, we need to put you in a position where, you know, you guys can negotiate for additional repairs if needed um, when you're estimated closing date. So what, what, can you tell what the, the, the materials of the pipe is from here to there? It's concrete. Is that well, it's not, no. Um, from my house until about 35 feet, I believe it's cast iron. Which is the old? Mm -hmm. Oh, here, now you can get a good look at that uh, black area. So it's cast iron, it's not... Oh, uh, we're still in cast, it looks like. So that means original? Yes. Yes, it is original to the house. There is some ABS underneath the house coming from here, because this is an ABS toilet flange, and then the drop is ABS as well. We transition over to cast iron nine feet from the bottom of this uh, access point. Okay, so... Let's see if I understand. So it just stops. It means like there's, the pipe's not connected to the city? No, the pipe has some kind of connection, but given the damage is on the floor of the pipe, my camera you can't go to find it? No, my camera will not make it past there. Okay. So, so we basically the toilet off? What's that? Should we leave the toilet off? Um We're gonna recommend a clean out anyway, right? I'm gonna recommend a clean out, but we may need to get back in to do additional locates. I can put an expansion plug in here and make sure no sewer rats or gas comes up into the house. <laughs> So it pretty much collapses at... Well, it's not collapsed. There's just the bottom of the pipe is missing in that particular area. And then uh, it looks like from there it's going to transition into concrete. So we're right at the transition point. That's what I figured. And then so concrete's what we want. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, the cast iron, you know, is, is typically pretty good too. It just, there's a low spot right here, so there's just been water sitting in this angled fitting for years and years and years. And it's just eroded away the bottom of the pipe. So what is the condition of the cast iron from the nine feet down spot today? So far, I, I didn't see anything that would give me, you know, reason to fail the line up until now. Okay, so you, you need, you need root intrusion? Nope, nope. Any line break over? No offsets, no separated joints. 
but still it's original-ish. Yes, it is definitely original to the house. Five feet six. So, I mean, that's a really simple repair. It's nothing to be too alarmist about. Um, the system still is draining. It's just not uh, the way it should be. I'm good. How are you? I'm glad. Mechanical question. Um, okay, so we did the sewer, well, sewer scope, and the, the cast iron pipe looks, looks okay. So about 66 feet, which is like right where the connection is to the city area, or what will connect to the city. But no, that's, no, that's, no. That's, huh? that's just a transition. That's right, at the transition point? Yeah, so at 66 feet, the line transitions from 4 inch cast iron to 6 inch concrete. That's going to be called, uh, considered the lateral. The lateral goes from the property line to the city connection. Typically, that city connection is either middle of the street or across the street. Oh, okay. But at that 66 inch feet mark, um, the bottom is not there. So, and it's kind of at a low point. So, it's probably. Like, is it disintegrated, you're thinking? Yes, it's been eroded away. It's been eroded away. So, he's going to recommend a clean out, number one, and then for that connection to be replaced. Are you there still? Are you there? Are you there? I don't know how long he's not been there. Are you there? Okay, so coming through the 34 to 24 foot can, mark can here. Can you hear all that? We do have sludge uh, and debris buildup. Can you hear me? I'm not quite sure how much he has heard or not heard. Huh? No, what did you say about sludge? Um, because the house hasn't been used in a while, uh, there's some material that's left in the line that needs to be hydro scrubbed out. It's um, what I refer to as sludge, but it's mostly like broken down toilet paper, grease from the from previous use. And here at 17 we have pooling due to debris buildup. If you want to look on the screen there, the camera's completely underwater. Ooh, Can I just lift it up like this? Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah. I, um, don't, I'm not sure how much you heard. We were going on and on and on and then you weren't there. Okay, so that was, so I guess my, my question for you is, there is sludge in the line, there's also cast iron pipes from the house to the, you know, 50 feet, 66 feet out to the street area, and then there's a connection that goes, a lateral connection that goes from, from that point to the center, to the center, what? Center of the street. To the center of the street. Well, the part about 60 feet, 66 feet in where it, it should change, the the pipe is eroded out. There is no bottom of the pipe, so it's just kind of the, the stuff, the sewage stuff, is just kind of sitting there in the front of the house, kind of like where you would park. Um, so we can recommend that a sewer clean out be installed, but that that portion of the pipe that's not there needs to be uh, replaced. Are you there? Okay, so my question for you is, right now the toilet is off. See how dark this is? It's mm -hmm. usually and, shiny, um, right? And someone's going to fix that. Dirt, it's, it's there's dirt in that fixed. section. Um, they yeah. have to take a look at that. Yeah, that is. That's that black track of dirt that I was talking about. Yeah. Put the toilet back. Okay. And they'll just have to pay again to remove it to make that so this is rotted out to make the sewage is gone in the yard. Okay. Okay. You. I'm not asking you to repair it. I'm asking you about the toilet part. That's all. Just the toilet part. It was just. It would just cost them more to remove the toilet again. And I would. You want to give them a call while we're still here? Oh, I don't even know. I was just asking you about the about the toilet. It's just, it's about the, putting the toilet back. I don't even know if he does the work. Do you do the work? Yeah. I'll, I can get you an estimate. 
that's not it. I was just wondering if you want to. We're still be here for, for a little bit. Do you want to ask him about putting the toilet in the back? Hello. Hi. I'm just going to reset the toilet. Okay. Okay. So due to uh, material buildup, debris from nine feet to at least 34 feet. Uh, isolated pooling due to debris uh, at the 17 foot mark and then uh, bottom of the pipe missing at 66 feet. The line does not pass inspection. I'm going to recommend a hydro scrub of the entire system as well as a repair at the 66 foot mark with an additional clean, uh, two way clean out install at the 66 foot mark. Hydro scrub should be done uh, after the repair has been completed. Realtors resource to provide an estimate for the uh, repairs in a timely manner. This will conclude sanitary sewer inspection for 365 Southwest Hill Drive in Willamina. Thank you.